All right, guys. Well, welcome back to another uh, ass-kicking week of Heroes of Ruin Terra. Um, you may have noticed we were off last week. We actually uh, played a one-shot uh, that I wrote, and because Alex was out, and um, the recording got messed up because I didn't check everything, uh, and so we're gonna try to do a recap video of that, but. I figured we could kind of recap that at the beginning because it's actually related to the story of what's going on here and some things that you'll hopefully find out this session, which might be in the, the second half of like the second video of this session. But yeah, so last week uh, we did a one shot set in Maran, which is a city on the coast of Ionia. Uh, and actually I can pull up the, the, the map here because it's a cute little... Uh, image that I found. Uh, and and Melbourne, Kaori, and Deshaun, uh, our players Jonathan, uh, Andrea, and Sylvia all took on the role of children from the village uh, because all of the warriors of the village had gone off to a meeting um, in which they were to discuss the defense of Ionia if there is another uh, Noxian invasion. invasion. And so their characters were Satoshi, uh, Asano, and Maroka. And uh, each of them had their own various quirks, etc. I don't, I don't want to get into it uh, too much, but uh, hopefully that recap video will be coming out. And so basically, these children kind of uncovered... There there was a sickness spreading through the land, through the uh, azure fields where um, they the azure grain is, is picked, and it's it's what their village and, and their surrounding uh, people kind of survive off of. And there was a sickness spreading it from a... Ionian uh, warship that crashed during the first invasion, uh, and then so basically the uh, the these three set off and and went to the the husk of the reaver the the Ionian warship uh, and found basically a chemical weapon uh, that had had basically uh, broken and was leaking and spreading its corruption through the land and was killing all natural things because one of the main reasons that the Noxians actually failed to uh, invade Ionia the first time was that nature literally fought them off. You know, there's, there's natural spirits, there's living trees, all those sorts of things. Um, and so whatever this chemical weapon was literally killed and destroyed nature. Uh, and so keep keep an eye out for that. Uh, hopefully that recap video coming out sometime in the next few weeks. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I think everyone enjoyed it. And uh, give us some nice background on something that we're going to learn a little bit later. Cool. So... We are at McGregan's Kill House. And actually, let's make the music something a little more more appropriate. Some Bilgewater music. Kind of quiet, but... Uh, wh where we had left off was you had basically uh, been given permission from uh you, you had found this fortune uh, via annie who you found it in the the rat the rat town warehouse and uh she took you to mcgregan's kill house where uh captain fortune is uh and she gave you permission to stay the night uh so let's get you let's get you some lodgings here i'm gonna drag you guys uh over and basically you would have seen quite a lot of the insides here. Uh, I'm just taking some time and revealing some areas for you. Uh, so you'll see, you can go ahead and drag your, your own tokens. You can see over on the on the far right, uh, I've revealed some areas and this is this is where you would uh, would have slept. Maybe without these two dudes, like just chilling in there, just watching <laughs> you the whole time, but. Oh, all the way to the right, oh cool. Yeah, I, I stopped using like the dynamic layer <laughs> because it's too hard to like build everything and put the roofs on top of it. Mostly, I'm just lazy. Also, in the room with the dudes, you mean? Would we'll be sleeping in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, is Annie with us, or is it just us in the room? No, the Annie. Room? Annie disappeared somewhere else. Okay. She's too busy for you guys. Annie, are you okay? All right, uh, guys. Um, before we uh, before we hit the hay, as I like to say, I can't help it. I'm just too musical. But uh, I I uh, I want to ask: Does anybody know why they call it uh, McGregor's Killer House? Again? 
get a little uh, little little scared and you know a bit of my uh my sailor's gizzard is kind of you know peaked up melbourne make a history roll me you're melbourne aren't you yeah i just don't know why i'm the one rolling oh you've got no idea melbourne you would be the only other one with any like context on on bilgewater oh yeah well i guess it's where they bring people to kill right well then uh maybe we should uh, keep watch as we uh as we take our rest here you know make sure that we have uh somebody on the crow's nest as it were sure absolutely uh so you guys are, are setting a watch what is your order I think I'll go first. Uh, I can oh. keep watch, Captain. Perfect. Uh, you'll we'll do your shift right after mine, then, and uh, I can I can give everybody a little lullaby here with my. Wait, Melbourne, do you even have to sleep? No. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. I don't have. To. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Alphonse. Oh, I, I will spend the time while they're resting, repairing myself, but. Mm. Oh, perfect. Watch just got really easy for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Melbourne is the, <laughs> the uh, my ever watching protector, and I give him like a pat on the, the whatever's appropriate to pat you on for my height on the back. <laughs> just, <I don't. laughs> there we go. And uh, then I, you know, I, I pull out my harmonica and I say, um, let's see, let's think of a really quick song. Um, Welcome to McGregor's Kill House. I hope we don't die tonight. <laughs> Have a good sleep. That's my song. <laughs> As you're doing that, you hear one of the one of the uh, the soldiers of fortune from from outside yell, "What the hell is that racket?" <laughs> some uh, some admirers. I'll have to give them <laughs> give them a performance in the morning. Awesome. Yeah, so go ahead and take a sleep, uh, and for, for everyone watching, they did level up from last time because they've been through quite some harrying situations, so we're at level three now. A few new tools and spells, hopefully. I uh, think Sean just would have, before that she went to bed, just kind of inspected just Melbourne's body because I'm, I'm assuming she would never have seen a construct before. So she would just be like, oh, and that, that's got some, you know, wires there and some metal there and... Oh, yeah, we're still on day one. Melbourne, yeah, how do you respond so to this? She's just like right in your business, just like looking all around and touching. What are you doing? I've just never seen something so metallic and moving and, you know, realistic. Just very interested and curious. <clears throat> Maybe you soft skin should get some. Get some what? You cut out, what did you <laughs> say? Maybe you soft skins should get some rest. Oh, of of course, yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, that, I can be a little bit intense sometimes. That was like a little racially charged, actually. <laughs> all right, cool. So you guys, uh, you get some rest, Melbourne. Uh, give me a perception roll for your for your all night watch. Your vigil. Super good at this. Mm. Oh wow, it's mm. pretty good. Very nice. Um, yeah, the the night passes relatively without incident. You know, you you're able to perceive a couple times some some of the soldiers of fortune. You know, like get up to take a leak or or whatever. Um, you know, you're pretty sure two of them are uh, are sneaking about together for whatever reason. You know, you, you don't really know the ways of the soft skins, but um, yeah, it, it passes without uh, without any issue. Uh, as morning is approaching, it's pretty early. Uh, one of one of them, uh, you know, approaches your door and uh, kind of. <clears throat> the captain will see you now. And waits as everyone's still, you know, while everyone's asleep. It's pretty early. It's like the crack of dawn. Okay, we would probably get up pretty quickly, hearing them at the door, and forgetting she still has her crazy makeup on. She like accidentally like, smudges her eyes. So, like, oh yeah, has, you like, had the streaks. geisha makeup on. <laughs> Yeah, I have like the performance makeup on, so it's like I slept in it, and then like I'm rubbing my eyes. Like it's just I have raccoon eyes now. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it still looks pretty, just like incorrect. So, 
um, kind of groggily. And then like on my way over to the door, um, I do like a couple sequences of movement that I'm used to doing for balance. So like I get out of bed and like I go on my hands, and do a handstand and then like back up and then side. So I'm just kind of like twisting around and whatnot. And then you just hear like a bunch of stuff go as like my spine pops all the way up. I'm like, I am ready. <laughs> uh, Buxton will just take his hand, his, his, his hand that he still has and just hawk like a big wad of spit in his hand and then kind of like <laughs> rub his goatee and then oh, rub his oh. eyebrows and then uh he's like uh all right best we see the captain then oh sweetheart and Deshaun would just go up to kaori and be like you've just got something just under your eyes and she'll just like a like mom style just try and clean <laughs> her up and I just don't want you walking out there embarrassed, you know? You just got a little makeup smudge. Attitude, Deshaun. I appreciate you keeping me in check. Awesome. So this guy would uh, would lead you across to the other the other building, and I'll go ahead and just reveal all of it. Uh, and he would lead you up into... Rest here. Uh, up into the room with... Captain Fortune, so up here. Is my ping not working? Up here. Mm -hmm. Captain. Well, the degenerates are here. <laughs> the degenerates. I uh, I guess I could get behind that. Ah uh, yes, the degenerates. What a what a lovely name. I trust you slept well. Captain Fortune I, kind of kind of steps forward. A lofty little uh, little set of feathers that you have, you know, slept nice and good. My back feels a lot better. Glad to hear. Didn't it. Didn't hear much killing last night, though. Isn't this the kill house? It's named after the. the... You realize we're in the slaughter docks, yes, and and most people in the slaughter docks make a living. Well. Killing and slaughtering sea monsters for their for their goods, but I guess it is a double entendre. You're right. In any case, I'm glad you slept well. Uh, let's let's get down to business. I'm I'm short on time. I I hear that uh, the Noxians are after you, and uh, Annie tells me that uh, well you were seeking me out. What what can I do for you? Well. It, we actually wouldn't mind if, you know, you can, I guess, make it known that it wasn't us that caused, caused the explosion in the uh, in the square. Interesting. And why would I do that? Well, I guess there's something that you want, uh, perhaps. And I look to the other group, the other members. Aye, Captain. We uh, we have no love for Noxians, but uh, you know, with with our names out there in those red letters, it makes it a wee bit hard to walk around the town. Mm. Um, we're uh, perhaps uh, you know, perhaps we could help you out here, and then uh, you could use the power that you have to make those red letters disappear. Mm. That could be done, perhaps. Interesting. Well, I do have a proposition for you. Are you familiar with the uh, the the Temple of the Mother Serpent? Deshaun's eyes like widen quite a bit. Let me pop it up for those of you who may not be intimately familiar. So, the Temple of the Mother Serpent, the headed by the Kraken Priestess, the Lowie. Uh, it, it, this priestess, uh, she gets a lot of information from her various network of the Boer people. She knows something. Uh, she has some information that I need about the Noxians and, and about Gangplank. But, uh, well, she, she insists on testing the spirit of everyone I send up there to get it. Uh, no one's come back yet. I, I guess uh, none of my people's spirits are worthy by her crazy religion standards. Well... You get that information from her, and uh, and I'll think about it. She's no friend of the Noxians, or of Gangplank for that matter, but uh, 
Well, you know how religious fanatics are. Do you have any idea of what this task might be? Any rumors? Oh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a bunch of hogwash, but, uh, uh, well, either my well, people obviously are... not if your people aren't returning. Either they're being converted, uh, or it's something a little more sinister than that. And let me tell you one thing, the Soldiers of Fortune are not a religious bunch. Kiri would step forward and, uh, reach out towards, uh, Captain Fortune and be like, is there a way for us to verify that you will keep this promise if we return <laughs> verify that's very funny uh I, tell me um what what leverage do you have to verify with i need the information there that's your leverage you need me to clear your names that's my leverage that's how a trade works honey um kiori would say uh i shall try to say again i'm i'm not of bilgewater um is there a way for us to have a symbol of your promise? So when we return, you remember what you told us. A symbol, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she holds her hand out. Uh, Bucks and just nods. Just like, <laughs> These are the way. Um, this is the way. This is bilge water. <laughs> uh, Kaori doesn't know what to do, so she follows what she saw Buxton do, and she reaches out and, like, with two fingers, like, takes the spit from her hand and then, like, oh. starts putting it in her hair and then spits in her hand mm -hmm. and reaches it out, like, four inches from hers to, like, trade spit <laughs> in, like, the stupidest way possible. Captain Fortune just, like, takes out a rag and, like, starts wiping her face and she's like, you Ionians are a strange folk, I do declare. <laughs> Uh, Buxton just like kind of looks in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> in any case, uh, now that that's out of the way, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you all head up to that temple of the 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 Kraken uh, and um, that temple of the Mother Serpent and uh, uh, get that information, and we'll call it a day. Oh, by the way, I heard I overheard something. Are you wouldn't happen to be a uh, 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 Sir Buxton, formerly of the Bearded uh, Minnow, would you? Aye, that is I. I you knew your captain. What What was his name? Uh, his name. Or her <laughs> as, name. Uh, what was their name? As Alex looks it up real quick, huh, it's in my backstory, which I do not have memorized. Um, what I should. Uh, but uh, scroll, 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 scroll. Uh, uh, Rexford, Rexford Tide Turner. Ah, uh, Rex. Yeah, uh, he was, he was a good, he was a good lad. Never did quite join me or the other side for that matter. Was one much more for neutrality, but uh, you know, he, I actually might have a bearing on where the minnow is. If uh, you know, maybe after all of this, you guys are uh, interested in a little more work. I I try to like. I, I'm definitely excited and happy to hear this, but I try to kind of like, you know, play it off as like just natural. It's like, yeah, of course, of course, Captain. <laughs> you know, if you, uh, that would be a mighty fine gesture if you could. Mm -hmm. I could always use another member of my crew. All right, off you go. I've got, uh, well, basically a war to fight. I'll see you later. Good luck, and I kind of tip my head. <laughs> my would turn and do a quick little <laughs> bow and be like, may your day be balanced, Captain. Yes, balanced. Get out now. <laughs> <laughs> do we know I where the... Boxton and... Yeah, I was going to say, I looked to Boxton mm. and Melbourne. Yeah, so the Temple of the Mother Serpent is... Let me see if I can pull up a... Uh... I think you can see it from here, actually. Uh, hold on. Where's my bilge water? There's my bilge water. So the Temple of the Mother Serpent is actually at the very top. Do you see there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you would know that you would have to go across the but Butcher's Bridge, which is this here, uh, and to be able to get up there. So it looks like it's pretty far away from us. Yeah, so you guys are down here in the Slaughter Docks. Uh, you'll basically go up through Rat Town. It'll like circle around up into the bridge, and then straight shot up from there. 
what do we know about uh, uh or i guess say uh, i uh i guess i don't i don't suppose you would remember how many noxians are between us and the the temple would you melbourne uh, what i i know there's uh, a, they just kind of patrol the streets lady. randomly <laughs> not sure captain all right then now uh, lady luck is going to have to be on our side then um you know, if they're patrolling the streets randomly, we're going to have to make a break for it. I don't know if we have time to be all sneaky like we were the other night. Uh, um, any suggestions, pals? Perhaps we can ask Captain Fortune for assistance. Maybe a diversion from these soldiers of Fortune to clear the streets. And maybe some, maybe some uh, brown or black cloaks that can cover us from head to toe. That's a great idea, Deshaun. A different uh, different change of clothes, I'm sure they wouldn't mind parting with some, uh, you know, some uniforms. And, and, I, and I, I guess I'll just waddle over to, like, the nearest uh, post guard um, sailor. And I say, you there! We're, uh, we're new partners of uh, Captain Fortune, uh, and we're looking for uh, a potential, potential uh, request. Who do I talk to? What kind of request? <clears throat> we're looking for uh, clothing, you know, to kind of trade out. Uh, you know, we're we're wanted people, and I try to look all scary, like like kind of bare my teeth. He's and uh, not impressed at all. <laughs> <laughs> we're wanted, and uh, we got to make our way up to the temple without being, you know, caught by them noxious bastards. You're gonna want to talk to Jim. He's the quartermaster, and you like points you over to, uh, to, where, to another part of the warehouse. Perfect. And I just march over to Jim. <laughs> I just follow. Oh, what do you want, short and fuzzy? Oh, oh you're <laughs> tall and shiny, ain't you? And you're a lizard. Oh, I thought you I thought you were going to do another, uh, you know, two adjectives that time, but, uh, you know, short and fuzzy here, a.k.a. Uh, the one and only Captain Buxton, the Blythe. But, uh, Oh, me which, and my crew. What ship do you, Captain? The Bearded Minnow. No. <laughs> it's, it's, it's under a uh, diff- different captain ship for now, but uh, me and my crew, we're looking for uh, just a different uh, set of wares to help us uh, with a task given to us by Miss Fortune about uh, heading on over and doing a task at the temple. Oh, I've got the perfect thing. You need to get to the temple. Yeah, we used these last week. He pulls out a chest and pushes it to you. And I, I just, I gesture to uh, Deshaun and Kiori and, and Melbourne to do the honors. <laughs> Trying to be the captain. <laughs> yeah. I'll open it. Mm. So inside, you find what looks like a, a bunch of nuns' robes, basically. Yeah, we uh, we we got these off a group of uh, <laughs> uh, of uh, Solari nuns a few months back. I don't Perfect. know if these are gonna fit you, Captain. You know, we can we can do a little bit of hemming, and I just start like ripping off a part of it with my hook. <laughs> 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 anyway, if uh, you need anything else, I'm busy. He just goes back into his storehouse. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I put now, these are perfect, guys. Would we know if this insults the uh, anybody at the temple? No, it would not. So the you would know that the Solari are like far in Eastern group. Um, mm. There's not really a presence here, but they 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 do have some outreach. Solari is that what you have? Mm-hmm. So. The Solari. They are from uh, they are from a place far to the east near Mount Targon. Now would I know that? Or you would not know I that. Know. Everyone else would probably know that though. Cool. So you have that. I'll give you basically an advantage on any stealth check that you want to make for yeah. trying to get there without being without being seen. Perfect. And I just put um, Thorn back, just kind of on my shoulder, so it just looks like another little bulge next to the head. <laughs> you have like two heads, like, like yeah. a hunch. Oh, I thought you're gonna be like a hunchback, like none. <laughs> <laughs> 
Actually, that's better. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to shove him <laughs> on the back and then I'm going to be a little... Does he just, like, burrow <laughs> down and you chew your bag? Thorbeck's just moving around. <laughs> like, like, a, like a... I don't know, just a random person. It's like... <gasps> it's a All cyst, right. okay? <laughs> hey, it's a weird world. There's a lot of weird shit out there. Perfect. Mm. Cool. I, so... I put it on. I'm sure I look like a ghost. Yeah, it, it's definitely big on you. You're able to like kind of hem it a little bit, but uh, you know, you, you get it looking decent. Cool. Um, would Kayori know how to put it on properly, or would it be possible she like puts it on it's backwards? Uh, I mean, that's up to you. You've seen robes before, certainly. True. Okay. Um, I feel like if it's just a traditional like cut robe, she would figure it out right away. But I didn't know how different or ornate it would be compared to what she's. Yeah, seen. no, it, it's it's pretty similar to the robes you would have in in Ionia. Okay, great. So I would just flip it on and be like, hmm, smells funny. Okay. Nice. Cool. Um, so anything else you guys want to do before setting off toward the temple? I think Sean would just say, um, now guys, this is the place that I am really interested in. I don't know if you remember, but this is the place that I might find out some information about my um, curse. I so that's probably part one for me. Don't part ruin two. this for me. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, Actually, you guys thing. are feeling a little bit hungry, though. It's been it's been a minute. Hmm. Did Captain Fortune say what information we're looking for? It oh, was something yeah. about um. Gameplay, right? Plank. Yeah, gangplank and about what's going on with like Noxian stuff. Like a ship. Yeah, she was pretty vague. She said that it was something to do with gangplank and something to do with the Noxian's goals, like like their entire mm. like their war effort. Mm. Um, you would know that you know f war in general is not in gen like the first uh, Ionian invasion was actually not great for business for Bilgewater unless you were. A mercenary to the Noxians, and even then, it wasn't like great because you had to like listen to them, and a lot of people died, and just. I, all right, all right. So as you guys uh, start heading off towards the temple, like you said, it's quite a long way. Let's get a group stealth check going. Everyone, roll stealth with advantage, and we'll average that out. All right. <laughs> These are some rolls, oh, my boys. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Thank right. you, Captain. 14, I've for this. 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 27. Jesus. Boom. First crit of the day. All right, so you got a 17 average on your stealth. That's pretty freaking high. Um, so, yeah, you guys set off uh, through the streets of the Slaughter Docks. Uh, you're making your way up through Rat Town. Um, as you ascend through kind of the levels... Um, of of the the different areas of Bilgewater, um, the lower levels are kind of like the the poorer areas. As you go up, it gets nicer and nicer, but everything is made from like the remains of old ships and, and or just carved out of the rock. It's like a mixture of these carvings from the ancient Buru um, uh, places and temples and, and facilities or whatever, uh, mixed with like just the like the back the butt end of a ship just like jammed into the rocks to to create the. Uh, to create a building, and so you're able to make it up through Rat Town, uh, no real issues, uh, up to the Butcher's Bridge, which is, um, you know, you you've been here many times before. It's it, it it's nothing special. So you head up and up, and as you get closer and closer to the temple, it's the the um, the bilge watery and constructions become less and less uh, common. And you start seeing more carvings of the Buru people, and um, you're on kind of these carved stone steps. Um, I'd say it probably takes a couple of hours, um, but but uh, you notice it's actually the the noxion presence is actually pretty light right now for whatever reason. Uh, so you're uh, making your way up to the temple, and let me go ahead and pop that back up for you. So the temple is the temple of the mother serpent. Uh, Ilawi, I told you, is is the leader of this temple, uh, and they follow Naga Kabros, uh, which is the uh, did that pop up for you? Hold on, shut everyone. There we go. Ooh. So their god is basically a big sea kraken. 
Uh, it's central to Buru culture, uh, the god of life, growth, and perpetual motion. Uh, it's also known as the Mother Serpent, the Great Kraken, or the Bearded Lady. Uh, she's commonly depicted as an enormous monstrous head with many spiraling tentacles. Uh, and so that is what you are headed toward, uh, toward this temple here. Uh, and the Buru people are, are generally like a very peaceful people. They're they're kind of a seafaring people. Mon uh, sea monster hunting is kind of a way for a way of life for them, which is part of like why Bilgewater started here because the the sea monsters are so rich in resources. And I'm gonna pop you onto the uh, next screen here. Uh, this is this is who you're going to meet, Elawi, the uh, the Kraken priestess. And I think let's take just a quick five minute break here. Uh, and then when we get back, uh, you can uh, test your faith with Alawi. Ooh, 